Hello everyone, Nyanstar here, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. The time of year when being a goth obsessed with horror is in style. I want to tell some stories about trick-or-treating, and then I'll go into my favorite Halloween candies and media afterwards. I've been trick-or-treating ever since I was 7 months old. I mostly dressed up as Disney princesses as a toddler, but the first costume I remember clearly was a cat. I'm pretty sure I wore a cat costume for years until 2014. I was absolutely obsessed with FNAF, so I did a makeshift Bonnie costume that year. Now there's official FNAF costumes. How times have changed. For 2015 and the next year, I dressed up as an axe murderer. I still have the bloody socks. My brother absolutely destroyed my axe prop, though. In 2017, I reused my sister's Queen of Hearts costume. In 2018, I just kind of threw together a cat outfit, because it was the easiest and fastest one I could do. For 2019, though, I dressed up as a ghostly bride. I even walked to my sister's house so her ex could do my makeup. I hate wearing makeup, though. How do you eat or drink anything with lipstick on? The next year was when Halloween was cancelled because of the pandemic, and then I developed agoraphobia and got old, so I haven't gone trick-or-treating since. I loved trick-or-treating, but there were other things we did to celebrate. When I was in elementary school, I would participate in the school Halloween parade, and then go trick-or-treating later that night. In first grade, I had to stop walking in the parade and ducked into the bathroom to throw up. Luckily, I was fine enough to trick-or-treat later. The next year, we didn't do Halloween at school anymore, and I got in trouble for wearing a costume. But I talked about that more in my second grade video. When trick-or-treating, my parents would take my sister and I and drive to the neighborhood that we used to live in. It had the best candy. There were those houses that would give candy bars bigger than both of your hands together, and one house that gave out Japanese hard candy. Of course, we took our brother with us when he was born, but I'm still nostalgic about the before times. I remember one time when we were walking, since it was so dark outside, I ended up tripping on an uneven sidewalk and completely skinned my knees. And that became a core memory for years. The next year, when Dee and I were walking away from a house, Dee opened the gate out front and didn't hold it open for me, and it closed on my legs. My parents were very upset, and we had to go back to the house to ask for band-aids. It wasn't that far from where I fell the year before, either. I was nervous about my poor knees the next year, but I managed to go out unscathed all the following years. Now that we've talked about trick-or-treating, let's talk about my favorite Halloween candy. My all-time favorite candy is Reese's, which is predictable since most people love Reese's. I like the large cups and the pumpkins the most, but the minis, ghosts, and take fives are also really good. Kit Kats are my second favorite. Normal is good, but I like white chocolate, matcha, and mint dark chocolate too. I don't usually like dark chocolate unless it's paired with something else. I don't really like plain M&Ms either. I like peanut M&Ms and peanut butter M&Ms, but the latter isn't as popular, so I never see them anywhere. I like Whoppers and Milk Duds, but I always mix them up. Milk Duds have caramel, but the ones with milk is Whoppers. It's confusing. Now I'm just gonna scroll past these chocolates that I like, since we'd be here all day if I said them all. Let me know what your favorite chocolate is, by the way. My favorite general candy is caramel. Sugar babies and sugar daddies, despite the name, are very tasty. I also like cowtails, which is a tube of caramel full of cream, but I only got them for a couple of years. And of course we had the fruity candies. Once again I'll scroll through some of my favorites. I loved getting dum-dums, my favorite flavor being cotton candy, followed by butterscotch, blue raspberry, and sour apples in that order. When we got home from trick-or-treating, we always dumped our bags out into long pans, and our dad would separate the piles into chocolatey and fruity. There were also the extra snacks that people would give us. I liked the pumpkin-shaped pretzels, even if they weren't candy. I had a couple Halloween-themed toys. I had a cute Halloween bat toy. My sister had this teddy bear that we called Pumpkin Belly. We even had a shirt of him. He was my sister's, but I still played with him. And I had so many black cat toys. But I also have plenty of Halloween stuff that aren't toys. I have this skeleton dressed up as a black cat that I got at the state fair. My sister got a calico one. My sister got me this solar-powered bobblehead, and it reminds me of Skull Animals. I had a Skull Animals bike when I was younger, but I never learned to ride it. I got my dad to buy me a Halloween Miku figure, and I adore her. 
I want the other Halloween Mikus too, but they're so expensive. Now let's talk about Halloween special. <laughs> Mariah, you're making a Halloween video and you didn't even think to let me contribute? Why would I? I don't like you. Yeah, well I hate you too, and I'm taking over the video. Wait, what? So Halloween specials are a classic celebration. The Garfield Halloween special is my absolute favorite. My sister and I watch it every year, and the songs get stuck in my head all the time. The Charlie Brown special is probably the most famous special, and I do enjoy seeing it. My third grade teacher claimed that the special originally ended with the Great Pumpkin showing up, but I found out years later that the only other ending was just showing the sponsors. There's plenty of kid shows that I like that have Halloween specials. The Amazing World of Gumball has two, Halloween and The Scam, and they have more spooky and ghost theme episodes on top of that. Gravity Falls, which is probably my favorite kids cartoon, also has two specials. Summerween is a great episode, and I enjoy seeing Little Gift Shop of Horrors, even if it was deemed non-canon. Invader Zim has a very atmospheric special. And Spongebob has Scaredy Pants and Legend of Bikini Bottom. I also like watching Graveyard Shift for Halloween. The Simpsons, my favorite adult cartoon, has over 30 Treehouse of Horror specials. And Halloween of Horror is a very good episode. It's so far the only non-Treehouse of Horror special. There are movies I like watching for Halloween, too. Nightmare Before Christmas was one of my favorite movies as a kid. As a kid, I also liked the Scary Godmother movies, even though they really aren't great. House of Mouse has a Halloween movie called Mickey's House of Villains, and I feel like people don't talk about it enough. When I was younger, I was afraid of the movie Monster House, but now I think it's such a good movie. Corpse Bride and Coraline aren't directly Halloween movies, but they match the vibe. For general horror movies, I'd recommend Poltergeist, The Ring, The Thing, and the four Insidious movies I've seen. Any horror movie would be good, though. For music, I'm just gonna list a bunch of my favorites. Mrs. Pumpkin's Comical Dream, Everyday Halloween, Happy Halloween, Pumpkin Song, Spooky Scary Skeletons, Pet Cemetery, and the covers by Starcrawler and Strangers, and Dead Man's Party. For the rest, I'm just gonna link my playlist for you. For books, I'd recommend things like Junji Ito's works, like Uzumaki and Enigma of Amigara Fault, which is not only a meme, but a short read. I like reading anything by Mary Downing Hahn, like Ghost of Crutchfield Hall, Deep Dark and Dangerous, Wait Till Helen Comes, and All the Lovely Bad Ones. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is always a good read. I'd also recommend Pet Cemetery since it's my favorite book, but it's hard to recommend books. They're not as easily accessible as music or movies. Anyway, Neonstar has been glaring at me this entire time, so I guess it's about time to bow out. Yeah, yeah, you can have Christmas and Valentine's Day, but this is my holiday. God, finally. Sorry about that. I tried to keep her out, but she overpowered me. Seeing as someone already said everything else, I guess I'll say the outro. Damn, she took over and she couldn't even say the outro. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy Halloween! Stay safe when trick-or-treating, okay? Bye!